This week has been extra freezing and we're going a little crazy. Chris injured. All right, it's just my hand. I got another one. Even Dean is feeling the effects. Look at this primer bottle. We're getting creative. Oh, oh no. So we're just completely unhooked this. And making some executive decisions. This furnace is actually not supposed to be mounted on its side, but we're just gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe and come along as things start to heat up. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. <laughs> What's up guys and good morning. We are starting off today's video by letting you know today's video is actually sponsored by The Farmer's Dog. The Farmer's Dog is our favorite dog food for Frank and Lika. The Farmer's Dog was started by two dog lovers who reimagined food from the ground up, focusing on high quality ingredients that put health first and the benefits are noticeable. So The Farmer's Dog makes it super easy. All of their food is either labeled for Frank, like this one, or for Lika. And Frank gets half a package and Lika gets a whole package. Then you just empty into their dog food container and you're ready to go. Frank and Lika love their food and we love that it's so good for them. It's conveniently shipped right to your door with personalized portions and recipes to support your pet's long-term health. If you can't tell by Frank and Lika sitting patiently waiting here for their farmer's dog dog food, they absolutely love it. So you can see in here, like those are carrots, this is ground beef, like when the farmer's dog reached out and they wanted to sponsor one of our videos, we were really happy about it because one, we've actually used the farmer's dog for a really long time, and two, it's real food. It's good for their coat, it makes them happy, it even gives them better poops. Their priority is on health, and yours should be too. So if you guys are interested in checking out the farmer's dog, right now they're giving a massive, massive deal. They are giving you 50% off of your first order if you click the link in our description. Or go to thefarmersdog.com slash Trent and Alley 50. So I wanted to say thanks again to the Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna feed Frank and Lika, and we're gonna get to work. Caught behind the nation lines How to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running Looking for something, digging deep since nine nine. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges, all I. Along the way, fell between the fall, pulling the stitches. Time to let go. So As for basically every day this week, it is very, very cold. We've escaped the uh, land of snow every single day when we were getting feet of snow every day, and now there's no snow, and the lows are like zero to like seven degrees every night. And right now, it is currently. 11.1 degrees outside. The low was six. Pretty frigid. We're building a big fire so that uh, Sydney and Leo and the dogs can hang out here and be nice and warm. Dean is on his way up for the day. Uh, we're gonna be installing the furnace and some of the ducting, which is really exciting. Look at Allie. Grew up on the East Coast, such a city slicker, and now she's like this pioneer woman bringing in the wood and just like slaving away in the house making delicious food and taking care of the baby. We're gonna start canning any day now. <laughs> <sighs> She's wonderful. After a few months, especially with how snowy it's been all winter, we've been inside a lot, I get like cabin fever and I want to change things around and I want to redecorate. And Trent said, no more new couches, which is very reasonable. He said, unless I can sell these couches 
first, which, I, which is a challenge I'm definitely up for. The way that our living room is set up, we have the fireplace here, there's the door and the stairs right there. So it makes it so there's not a lot of different combinations of ways you can lay this living room out. Now, Ali is offering up the idea <laughs> that we move the TV over here against all knowledge no. of TVs and we we have measured it doesn't there's no that wall does not heat up when the fireplace is on it only gets warm for a few minutes and then it gets too hot in the house so the the whole house cools down from there it would not negatively affect the TV it, this is what Ali thinks <laughs> but it could also drive us crazy if we have a couch in the middle of the walkway for the rest of our lives. Even with just this love seat pushed against the door, which we don't use this door in the winter time anyways, so it's fine that it's blocked <laughs> off right now, it makes this room feel enormous. Yeah, it does. It feels like there's so much space. You could like do a cartwheel if you really wanted to if Lika wasn't in the way. <laughs> but Allie's already redesigned this room with different couches once before. So now that she wants to do it again, it's like, oh, okay, hold on, let's think about this. Happy wife. Happy life. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it already, we got rid of our old Cub Cadet snowblower. We gave it to Brandon and uh, we got a new Honda snowblower. It's much more efficient, stronger, more powerful, better at blowing snow. You can see I did a little test run right here. The Cub Cadet could never even make it a quarter of that distance. Um, we need it. The only issue is it doesn't have heated grips. You gotta complain about something. Like, We're putting it to the test today. We are putting it to the test. I'm gonna try and get as much of this snow off of the deck as possible. We'll see how it goes. What happened? Broke a shear pin. I'm too greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Does it come with extra shear pins? Yeah. Okay. Better buy some extras. Seriously? It looks like it's doing pretty good though. Oh, it's killing it. Really? Yeah. Cool. That upper cabin right there, the one that's open, the yeah. very bottom left. It's killing it and it's like so effortless compared to the last one. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna get fat using this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there was one of those at the back too. Oh my gosh. I knocked it down with the shovel because I was scared to go out there. You enjoying that? I'm enjoying that. <laughs> Seriously, just another day in paradise. These two spent a lot of time this morning clearing the snow off the deck. And honestly, it's like 99% of the way there. The iceberg against the side of the house is slowly deteriorating. Um, I think they're gonna let it bake a little bit in the sun and then give it another pass or two later this afternoon. But overall, how'd it go? It went really well. The new Honda snowblower is a beast. Really? It just like freaking munched through the snow. It's like That's cool. so good and so little effort compared cool. to the other snowblower. Maybe we don't need a roof over the deck. We'll just like <laughs> live with that snowblower, we'll be fine. But anyway, we uh, are gonna try and do a little bit of organization and cleaning in the garage. And then it's ducting day. It's Maybe, maybe it's just furnace day and ducting day is a different day. Oh, really? You'll have to ask Dean, he's the ducting guy. Okay. <laughs> It's a hot day, I'm hanging in the sunshine You should hit me with a splash gun, so I cool down Won't you come on over, we can party till the sun's down Baby, let's
let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to Blink. I could go for some Queen B2. Bass is going boom, boom. Bet you could bench that. With the tires and everything, oh. Trent could do it. Yeah. Maybe bench, not in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> is that a PB blaster? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Trent's going to start sleeping with that next door. <laughs> I'm going to turn into a PB blaster. <laughs> We're trying to uh, disassemble this axle a little bit so we can get some of this keeping parts into the keeping section and junk parts into the junk section. And uh, this bolt will not come off of this shock. It's seized in there, so I'm gonna have to cut the bolt off. You're not upset about it? I'm not upset about it. <laughs> sleeve that sleeve was inside a rubber bushing in here and that's the bolt and the bolt gets rusted to that sleeve and then when you go to undo the bolt this sleeve just spins inside the rubber bushing it's pretty common find out more on Trent's garage find out more on Trent's garage <laughs> Sundays at 7 a.m. <laughs> what are you doing let's go Now we are definitely trailer trash. Look at that. I'm embarrassed for I us. Put all this stuff out there too. Oh my gosh. I promise this is all a temporary solution to get some space in the garage and we will take care of all the car parts that are now stored outside on our property because I don't want to be those people either. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, you scared me. That's good. <laughs> Hey, what you guys make? Wow, <laughs> come on in. <laughs> How was the drive? A lot more sunshiny, that's for sure. Good? Yeah. Staying warm? Yes, it's, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> In front of that thing, I like can't even survive. It feels great. That's what you want, right? Oh, it's yeah. Like Phoenix in the summer. Right? <laughs> nice to get like the uh, security cameras in here and then it's recording all the time. If yeah. you miss something, you can just go back. And exactly. Get a little bit of that. Now, Allie's always curious if I'm alive out here while I'm working. Yeah, life. I think oh, he that's why he doesn't want to be. Yeah. Trent will be like, I'm going to go do some stuff in the garage. I'll be right back and I won't see him for an hour and a half. And I'll be like, wait, is he alive out there? It would be great to have uh, like a security camera inside the garage, literally just to check for proof of life. Somebody suggested that we get a 20 foot shipping container, which wouldn't be able to be delivered until like July or August, but we could get a 20 foot shipping container and like stick it somewhere. And then I could like put spare cars and no. parts and all kinds of stuff in there. It'd be better than this. Look at this. This looks trashy. Yeah, but this, will, this is motivating. He was like, what's wrong with these people? This motivates us to clean it up. A shipping container will just be like, oh, a place we can store things, and then it'll just fill up. 
If you have spaces to store things, you will fill them with junk. That's my theory. The problem is that your idea of cleaning things is getting rid of it. Oh yeah. And then when you need it later, you have to buy it. Like that's the whole part. I'm sorry, that's the when are you gonna need this? You just turn it into a tiny house anyway. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> we gotta show a big container, it'll definitely become a build. <laughs> so that's how I'll get her to buy it. <laughs> like we're gonna build a tiny home. <laughs> You're gonna live in it, Trent. Like the whole front half of this tiny home is a garage. <laughs> yeah. You want to just put it on the roof of the truck and I'll just lift it up? <laughs> I'll just hang out up there. And wait for you. All right, so the first thing we have to do is get the furnace upstairs. This would be easy, except for it's heavy and there's no way to really get it up there. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit different than the way we uh, got Modine up there against the ceiling with like the rope and the pulley. Uh, we're going to tie a tie down strap basically around this whole package. And then Dean has a come along up there, which is like a hand powered winch. Which is and what we should gonna, have used, he's right? He's gonna ratchet it up to the ceiling. It's what we should have used, but I don't have one. That's it. We can lift it up to that. It's not like this. Ah, I can do that. We just gotta get it to this point. Don't put too much weight under that thing. Put your collar under the strap. Yeah. <laughs> that thing is old. Right. You guys can pick this up. This is only gonna get like two thirds of the way up, and then we're gonna be like. Hoisting it the rest of the way. Maybe. It's still easier to try to lift it up. percent better than last time. That last 10% at the end was pretty sketchy. <laughs> that heater has got to be about 50 pounds heavier than that. At least. It's the wrong furnace. <laughs> what? <laughs> brought the wrong one on Trust the handles. Didn't trust it. Yeah, wow. Oh my goodness. That could have been so bad. It would have been alright. Brandon would have broke its fall. I Are did you? break its fall. Are you, Are you okay? I'm good. Other people work. 
I don't know if Dean feels that way. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna help Dean here in a minute by running some of the ducting that's gonna go to some of the boots. The boots? But, uh, the boots. Yeah, this is a boot. It's a boot time. I would put my foot in there, but I don't wanna take my boot off. <laughs> I don't wanna take my real boot off. Uh, basically this goes in the ceiling and then your ducting attaches to the boot. So, <clears throat> or on the floor or the wall or wherever your ducts are going. But I think Brandon and I are gonna run some of the ducting and help get that stuff installed. It's just crazy because this we thought was huge and it's like barely gonna fit the furnace. Yeah, we're idiots. <laughs> That you did perfect. <laughs> it was meant to be. We accidentally did it perfect. <laughs> I was thinking you say you uh, you like watching other people work. Yeah. This is what everybody's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it as well. <laughs> they subscribe to watch work. It's even better in person, I promise. <laughs> On setting up the furnace in place. Now we are going to get started putting boots and mounting them in the ceilings to connect to different ducts and vents for some airflow up in here. <laughs> It's nice. So Dean uh, got our furnace and our air conditioning coil installed. And a lot of people were saying like, why would you not just do the mini split? Like, why would you do a full furnace? I think I've answered this multiple times, but mini splits suck, that's why. <laughs> our mini split, the Mr. Cool that we have that everybody thinks Mr. Cool is so great, Mr. Cool kind of sucks. It's our elevation. It's not our elevation, it's our temperature. It's our temperature. Yeah. Quit trying to defend Mr. Cool, Allie. <laughs> Try to defend Mr. Trent every once in a while. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we went with a full furnace and a full air conditioning unit, mainly because this is going to heat and cool our man cave zone and the uh, apartment up here, here and the <laughs> she shed up top. It's massive. I'm really glad that we made this entire platform just for the furnace, yeah. because if we didn't build this extra platform for our water heater over here, we'd be having some packaging issues. So I'm glad that... Uh, it all fits nice and perfectly. Yeah, it looks amazing. And we need to clarify something now before the questions come. Yes, please. This is a high efficiency furnace and we're gonna condition the space. There you go. And that just means the, the high efficiency can freeze because it has water that drains out. So we gotta make sure this is insulated and has a vent in here to keep it warm. So Dean's a professional, everybody. Yeah. Believe it or not. And this furnace, <laughs> this furnace is actually not supposed to be mounted on its side, but we're just gonna do it <laughs> 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 about how far that we're actually going to calculate. All of these, all of these. Yeah, it is to shoot through the rim or just run the okay. You gotta make sure that one inch is substantial enough to Well, that's cool. We just spent some time talking with Dean about how to create the gas line schematic that he's gonna help us with for the addition or some changes that we are going to be planning um, on our house, which is really exciting. Who wants to open the jack in the box? I do. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. Oh, <laughs> snake. oh we got snakes and sparkles. Glue and primer spell singing. Oh. Because Trent breathes it all in. <laughs> yeah, he starts to have a grand old time. A little bit of Nickelback in the afternoon. <laughs> Look at this primer bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh, not you too. <laughs> I love when Dean comes here because we all of a sudden like increase productivity by 200%. Everyone is just working quickly, trying to like help Dean make the most of his time up here and get everything done in one day. There's so much happening and it's all going together so beautifully. They're just showing off. They're showing me off. They're like, we gotta prove we know what we're doing. Yeah. Oh my gosh! About <laughs> cut my arm off. Yeah. Uh, I think it's fine. Actually, it looks really crappy from down here, but it'll get the job done. Yeah. Now we got the uh, exhaust pipe hooked up for the water heater. So the water heater is running right now, getting up to temperature, making sure there's no issues there. I still need to get a TPR valve or a TPR pipe for the water heater. I keep forgetting to do that, but that'll be cool to uh, see that thing get fully heated up. Dean is getting all of the flex pipe ran to all of the boots that we hung earlier. So it's starting to look like there's a big giant scary stranger things like monster wrapping itself around the apartment up here. But, uh, yeah, I think we're we're getting pretty close. Dean's making pretty quick work of this, and we don't like that because we would like him to be here longer. So we'll have to think of some other things we can do to keep him around. Yeah, let's go. Well, Dean, seriously, thank you for all your help. Oh, Again. God, I'll take my payment. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> we got. I think she kind of jumped in there. Oh, sorry, Frank. I caused that. Thank you so much for putting in a full day's full days a full day of work here. Uh, I think Dean is going to be coming back next week sometime to do more of the ducting. We've still got a bit more work to do on the HVAC, and Brandon and I have a lot of work to do with the electrical. So. In the next episode, we're going to be pulling wire and doing electrical rough in, and then hopefully we'll see Dean's again soon. <laughs> no more fumes next time. Hopefully no more That's what fumes. what I come yeah. for. Next time. <laughs> if there are fumes, we're going to need to buy some new glue, which means fresh fumes. <laughs> uh, 
Where are you going, bud? Uh, are you just going right there? Come here. Whoa. Let's go in here with mom. Dad's got to get to work. Well, guys, we had a nice long day working with Dean and hanging out and getting so much accomplished in the casita and the garage. It was a really, I mean, it was a really productive day. Yeah. But I now have to go jump on the computer and start editing Trent's garage. So I've been doing the bulk of the editing on the Trent's garage videos to yeah. give Allie a little bit of a break. Yeah, it's been And huge. then Allie just kind of brushes it up, makes sure I don't mess up. So he's a good editor. It's been a nice, been a nice teamwork activity. So I'm gonna go get to work on that. But we wanted to let you guys know that if you had a good time watching this video today, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.